Hi everyone, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new speed build video. In today's video, we're going to be building a cottage in Copperdeal and it belongs to a teacher who is just a hardworking one in my opinion. <laughs> so the interior comes along with the theme quite nicely, but this is a single sim cottage and it is located in Copperdale. I'm not too sure what name of the lot is, so you can see it on the top left hand side of the screen for the name of the lot. Um, and I enjoyed building this build. I built it in my free time because I had nothing to do, so I decided to build this cottage and just make it just a small build and I think it's been a while since I've built a small build so this is just going to be a small cottage for a single sim who is a teacher in Copperdale um, and I really like this lot that we chose although the lighting is a bit um, not nice but this lot is just the perfect lot size for the small cottage and the scenery as well you can see it is very nice it is located near the pier of Copperdale I'm not too sure what the pier looks like honestly because I haven't play tested or played the game <laughs> uh, but I have play tested this build fortunately and everything basically works so you don't really have to worry about your sim not being able to access some of the stuff um, the i think the build is quite cute <laughs> so i'm really hoping that you guys will like it as much as i did building it if you want to download it on the gallery you can do so under my id which is simmerkai and if you want to download the tray files for it you can find them under my patreon page which is linked down in this in the description box below um and yeah the structure of this cottage is pretty much i guess basic you can say but i did end up adding like a section where it is a rounded curved wall rounded wall curved wall <laughs> um, and it is pretty nice it ends up being the bedroom of this house so everything for the layout plan was really nicely done I didn't really have a lot of struggle figuring it out um, although I was trying to figure out what to put where and stuff so in the end I think I got it together really nicely and over here I'm just trying to figure out what kind of fencing I wanted to do and how I wanted to do the fencing in the end I chose the fencing that is from the get together pack if I'm not mistaken the cobblestone ones initially I wanted to use something from the debug menu of the high school years pack but I didn't end up doing so because I didn't really think the high school years debug fencing looked really nice um and since this is a cottage i just wanted to make it pure like cozy looking slash mossy aesthetics <laughs> so in the end for the roofing of this cottage you saw that i chose the ones that are from the werewolves pack it is nice i think in my opinion it really looks nice i really like how the moss is arranged but it is weird um when the moss is arranged for like rounded roofing if that makes sense because if you see on the rounded roofing part the moss is pretty much looking a bit i guess awkward and not so smooth compared to the normal um roofing that you see over here and i'm not so sure if you can hear any drilling um there is some construction work going on in my house so hopefully that doesn't really bother this video or the smoothness of it um, but anyways, for the landscaping, I decided to go for simple landscaping with a lot of bushes here and there. And I also got inspired by uh, Pinterest posts that I saw, um, which are very, very foresty looking with a lot of landscaping. So I decided to get some inspiration from that and just apply it to this build. And hopefully you guys will like how it looks like in the end. Um, but for the exterior decorations and in terms of the like wall decorations, I didn't really put in a lot of stuff for that because I didn't really think it was necessary. And uh, and I mean, what what did I want to say? I was like, except for yes, except I didn't think uh, wall decorations for the exterior was necessary, except for like the potted ones that you put under windows and also lighting, of course. Um, but in the end, I think it looks really nice and clean and I didn't really want to make it look like too overgrown, if that makes sense. So it ends up being like just normal, I guess. <laughs> uh, but then over here, we are going to be starting off with the interior of the build. Um, the flooring that I chose for this build comes with a base game. It is just the normal ones. 
Uh, and I tried to find something similar in high school years, although I think that they don't have wooden flooring for high school years. They only have like the tile flooring. So I did use base game in the end and also use cottage living for the whole of this build just because it is a cottage and I thought that we should use more cottage living items compared to the other packs. <laughs> so it is just, yeah, really nice. Um, and over here is going to be the kitchen. Basically, I was also struggling to like kind of arrange things around the house because it is such a small cottage um, and I couldn't really fit in a full kitchen. So in the end, it just becomes a very tiny kitchen with like one counter space for your sims to use. Um, and yeah, it is a space that is shared with the living room as well as the dining room. For the dining room, I just put in like a table for two people, not four people or more, uh, because that's the only thing that could fit in this build because it's such a small build and such a small space. But I did use the uh, chairs that are from the cats and dogs bag, which really look cozy. I really love them um, and just decided to decorate it around to make it look like an actual cottage instead of like cottage exterior with like modern suburban interior that doesn't really make sense so <laughs> yeah i tried to make it as cottagey as i could um i did use a lot of furniture from the high school years pack which are the bohemian inspired ones which are these wicker chairs i think that's how you say it. um and also the bedroom will be having this sort of aesthetic going on in there and i also wanted to keep things consistent in terms of the style and whatnot so i decided to use some some things that are looking like similar to one another if that makes sense <laughs> um but as you can see it is shared between it is a shared space between the kitchen the dining room as well as the living room i'm pretty sure it's accessible uh but i will be uploading the functional version of course in the end so yeah your sims won't have any trouble going around and about the house uh over here is going to be where the bathroom is it's just a simple bathroom i didn't really want to decorate over decorated bathrooms basically um and considering it is a tiny home so it has to have like very minimal space <laughs> uh and then over here is going to be where the bedroom is it is just a small bedroom but in the end i think i will be using a single bed compared to this double bed i wanted to fit in the double bed at first but i didn't really think it was necessary since this is a teacher's house or cottage show so it should have more of teacher clutter if that makes sense like books and pencils and makeup and whatnot um and yeah i just figured that the teacher that lives here is very on a tight budget in a way so uh she just or they just chose to live in a small cottage uh and then over here is where the teacher's desk is it is just a study table with a computer and a lot a lot of clutter clutter related to schoolwork and discovery university i think also i used it for decoration um, and next to it is going to be just a small sitting area, although at first I wanted to put it as a wardrobe area, but I did use the Discover University shelving uh, to make the wardrobe area be in front of the bed. Uh, so this corner over here turns up to be another corner where it is just a sitting corner with a lot of clutter as well. Um, I was thinking like for this teacher's house, I should include a lot of clutter because teachers need to do schoolwork <laughs> anyways that will be the end of the video for me this is just going to be the exterior part where it's just a bunch of activities but i really hope that you guys will like this video and build if you like this build and video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i hope to talk to you guys in my next video bye